illustrator, I suppose, just for this kind of stuff. I wouldn't like to tag myself as anything particularly, unless it's future tattooist, that'd be cool. <laughs> if I'm making things, I'd be drawing, designing stuff, or just doodling on whatever. Pretty much similar to any artist, I guess. Just thinking new ideas, filling up sketchbooks, filling up notebooks. I my mum draw, she was very creative, she was painting as well. Do a little bit of everything, whatever takes my fancy that day, I suppose. Tattooing, be well started being an apprentice just through getting tattooed by local artists who um, always thought a lot of. She works amazing and just um, something I've always thought of doing. Never really knew how to get into it properly, so we just got chatting one day and it couldn't perform. She used to think I'd be alright at it and then I should go in and just watch her for And that was a couple of years ago. And still an apprentice, still learning, still tattooing, and um, love it. And it'll be my full time. Job, hopefully this year. I've had the car for a couple of years and it's always changed from stickers to painted to just different things on it for a bit of a laugh. It's only a little runabout so I just thought I'd do something different to it and set about it at work one day with a couple of marker pens. It was fun, I like it. I like the reactions it does or doesn't get. I used to just draw things for myself, things I'd fancied having a go at and then I'd end up sitting on it and it would sit in the spare room or under the bed or something and then came home one day find my girlfriend and set a Facebook page up for me as a way of probably getting rid of all the work to be fair but just never thought anyone would pay any attention to it so she did it um, thank you a lot <laughs> for that one maybe like a graph artist would go and paint a wall um, someone like myself would just go and leave a random canvas paint on bits of cardboard on doors on old bits of wood and just leave it on the street to someone to find 99% of people won't touch it but Someone might take it home and look after it, maybe. Make new friends, meet new people over it. And then he asked if I wanted to be a part of the first one. Um, in the last year, or last, 2010. October 2010 when it started. I heard about collaboration nation with Keith. 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 SP076, I should say. SP076. SP076. Free Facebook. 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 It's cool. I mean, it's all Facebook, isn't it? Like, really, it was just, it's, uh, it was a great promotional tool. Like, you know, um, you can have your own website, but unless somebody actually types in to look for it, but if they see a piece of artwork on there, which is what I do all the time, is to see artwork and it inspires me, um, then yeah, then people want to get involved. And, it's great, like <clears throat> the first, the original one with the first 20 artists, um, I just did a call out really on Facebook. And and although I knew, knew people, I, I was very nervous and not very confident about my own artwork. And then I had an exhibition at a, a pub up the road called The Golden Lion and um, I, a piece got stolen from there. And so I put it on Facebook saying it had been stolen because I was a bit pissed off at the time and like just saying, look, if anyone hears about it, can you give me a shout? Like, and, um, and the amount of people who reposted the piece and um, it was just like the support was just amazing. And I realized that maybe people did like my art a little bit. So that gave me the confidence to eventually when I want, you know, to start this project. So uh, Collaboration Nation works basically it, all the artists, no matter how many there are involved. The first one, there was 20 artists. The second, there was 47 and the third, the six, 62 uh, separate pieces all being started. Um, everybody starts a, um, a piece of artwork on an A3 sheet of paper, uh, preferably in black and white, although we do have a bonus who likes to work in collage. Um, like, and then uh, from that, that person posts it onto another person. All the names are put in hats to find out where the pieces of art are going throughout their journey. And then they get posted to a third and a fourth artist until everybody is, uh, till the four artists have drawn on each piece. 
After that, it goes back to the original artist who gets to actually uh, colour it and uh, keep the original piece. Knowing a lot of the artists involved as well, like Loki and Cherber and things like that, I thought, yeah, brilliant. I'd love to become a part of it because it's so successful. About Collaboration Nation through Keith, um, he posted, posted all the stuff out on Facebook, just thought, amazing idea, really good opportunity to get involved with a load of different artists. SB076 runs the project and we work with him on several projects already and he basically asked us whether we were interested and it just went from there really. I just like stalked him online and, and pestered him until he went, yeah alright, you can do something as well. It's been really good. It's been weird because I don't, I've never like collaborated with anybody. It gives you the inspiration to do it all. Whereas if you just sat there with a blank piece of paper, you're not quite sure, but then you'll get a piece through and you can work out what to do around it or there'll only be a little piece of the page left. And yeah. So it works quite good for that. The whole idea of four people joining together and really thinking about what they were doing with the A3 sheet of paper really appealed to me. Live drawing, um, I didn't really do very much before um, this year and then um, I did some back in 2005 when I was in Manchester very briefly for a night called Dirty Old Town which was like, um, which is basically a club night where they do some live drawing um, and um, yeah, got asked to do that alongside Loch Ness and since then we pretty much just worked together quite a lot like we've done a lot of stuff. So yeah, most of the people I've done live drawing with have been involved in collaboration nation in some way. That's the first on, on the window <laughs> when it's completely dark with a black pen. Yeah, normally it's just me in my room with a drawing board, so it's quite strange to be there with a big window and people. It's Dave who got us involved with, uh, with, uh, Upfest, with Collaboration Nation at Upfest. <laughs> Upfest has been going for a while. Um, I was there from the start because I've been working with Tobacco Factory on their exhibitions, organising things for them for some time. Drawing Upfest was awesome. It was um, probably my first, it was my first live draw, I think. First big live draw anyway, in front of big crowds with some well-established worldwide artists, which was quite scary, but once we got into it, everyone's just the same, just out for a laugh, having a good time drawing. I spot Upfest with two of my friends. We had a, uh, out, up by the, the green, out in the green bit, we had a, uh, Three of us were there doing, we had three boards between us and then we did some of the drawing upstairs in the collaboration room as well. This year, 2011, we got um, Collaboration Nation to come in. They had um, a company called Wow Gorillas and they presented Collab Nation with a blank life-size white fiberglass gorilla to draw on. And upstairs, we boarded up half of it and they just did the biggest Collaboration Nation piece ever, which was awesome. And, it, and uh, a great way for everyone just to meet each other and face to face and get, get messy with some Poscas. <laughs>